Uh, the Equal Protection Clause was incorporated into the Fifth Amendment to prevent the federal government from discriminating against Americans based on race. Do you agree that race is a suspect classification? Yes, that's what the Supreme Court has held for since the late 1950s, early thank, 1960s. Thank, thank you very much for that. Um, so the so-called American Rescue Plan earmarked billions of dollars in United States Department of Agriculture debt relief based solely on race. Why are you and your department defending the American Rescue Plan that discriminates based on race? So I, I believe you're referring to a district court case in which that's at issue, and so I can't really say it, uh, any more than is in the pleadings in that case, but it, it, this has to do with whether there are additional indicia uh, in addition to race that are used in making um, these um, um, grants and whether there is sufficient evidence of historical uh, practices so, that will so, tie it to race. So, sir, it's very explicit in the bill that the Democrats wrote in this Congress and President Biden signed into law. They said, this is based on race. I mean, doesn't this meet the standard of that is pure discrimination? So the, the question I, that our country has tried to rid of itself of? I believe the question has to do with historical patterns of discrimination against black farmers. And I believe that, uh, that, that uh, the purpose of, of what's going on in the district court now is uh, examining the record to determine whether there is a sufficient record in that respect. So it sounds, like you, you, it sounds right. like you support the legislation then. The, the question for us is the constitutionality of the legislation. That's the only question before us. And the, uh, as, as I've uh, said with respect to another statute, the Justice Department defends the constitutionality of statutes that can be reasonably construed as constitutional, and we believe that statute can be, yes. 